This rescue started with a call from a couple of walkers who were trying to make their way across the top of Kinder. Uh, the conditions aren't as you see them on the Google Earth image. It was a cold, wet, dark evening. Um, they tried to navigate across the top of uh, the plateau, but realised that the conditions were too difficult and they were struggling to go any further, so they asked us for help. In this video I'm hopefully going to show you what it's like to be an ordinary member of a mountain rescue team and the kind of things you end up doing on a day-to-day -day job. I was in Kinder 2, the second party to be deployed out to look for these people and as you can see here we're just making our way up the Edale cross track in the Land Rover and just about to go over the really bad step which is always a bit tricky to drive over. Kinder 1 had set out about 10 minutes ahead of us and the plan was for them to make their way directly to the casualty location and we were going to back them up just in case the casualty wasn't there. Uh, this does happen now and again and in order to save time in sending another team up we send one team ahead and the second team follows up behind to carry out a search just in case they're not there. The red line on the map here is Kinder 1's route and Kinder 2 are following up behind as the blue route. Uh, we're following on the same route that they're going up and we're just going a little bit further behind with the view to eventually hopefully catching them up. Both teams make their way up from Edale Cross to Kinderlow Trig Point and from there we're trying to find the easiest ground in towards the casualty site. It's really boggy in the gruff so we're lucky to stay on the high ground as much as possible. The uh, plan is we've just come up to Kinderlow Trig and now we're going to take the high water line so basically in between all the gruffs there's a high area that's a bit drier so the idea is we're going to go into the plateau along the high ground and try and pick them up from there. Kinder 1 finally make it to the casualties location. Uh, we keep going while they assess them to see if we're going to be needed. It turns out that the casualties are okay to walk and Kinder 1 make a decision to go off in a different direction so we end up being recalled back to base so we just turn around and retrace our steps back to the Land Rover at Edel Cross. Kinder 1 make a decision that the easiest thing to do is get them straight to the nearest footpath uh, which turns out to be in the opposite direction down the Kinder River along the edge path and down Sandy Hayes back towards base. Uh, we drop the casualties off at their vehicle on the way back so they're able to get home meanwhile we just then pack everything away and get ready for the next call out. Yeah, 